Hello. So two minutes to go live, and uh, then we will be live on screen. So before going live, I will let you know. You can put your PPT on screen, sir. Yeah. So one minute to go live, you can have your PPT on screen, sir. Sir, your voice is not uh, audible. Uh, can you see the PPT now? Yes, yes, your PPT is visible now. And my voice? Yes, yes, uh, audible, sir, audible. Okay. We are good to start, sir? Yes, we can start. Thank you so much, sir. Good evening, everyone. This is Batul from IGCP, and I would like to welcome all the viewers who have joined our platform for the Better Exchange of Knowledge. That is going to be shared by our keynote speaker doctor for today's session. With great honor and pleasure, it's my honor to introduce Sir at our platform. He's none other than a very renowned pediatrics, Dr. Suchit Tamboli Sir. Sir is consultant pediatrician, PhD in pediatrics, FIAP, MBBS, DCH, PGDAP, PGDMLS, Developmental and Behavioral Pediatrician, Adolescent Consultant at Chiranjeev Clinic Hospital, Founder and Director at the Child Development Center, Maharashtra. Not only this, Sir is also the Faculty in International, National and State Conference since 1999 and has more than 350 lectures. Sir is also the Director at the ABH Free Accreditation Hospital, OPD and Child Development Center since June 2019. Sir is also the chairperson, Government of Maharashtra Disability Certification Committee since 2015 and ex-national chairperson at IAP GDP Chapter 2014-2015. Sir is also the organizing committee member at World Pediatric Congress Singapore 2023, published more than 15 papers in index journal, editor of three books, YouTube channel, Dr. Sujit Tambodi has more than 28 videos. This is my pleasure and honor to introduce Sir at our platform and have him at our stage. So now without any further delay, we'll move to the topic. And the topic for today's discussion is common behavioral problems in office practice. Before moving on to today's session, let us have a brief look on what the topic says. Behavioral problems can be common issue encountered in office practice and can range from mild disruptions to severe and potentially dangerous situations. Effective management of these behavioral problems in office practice requires a patient-centered approach that addresses the underlying cause of the behavior and provides appropriate support and resources. Now, without any further delay, I would like to welcome Sir at our forum and would like to hand over the session to him for his talk to begin. Sir, over to you. Thank you very much for a nice introduction. Uh, and uh, I'm actually at the out, out, uh, outset, I must thank IGCP for giving this opportunity to uh, communicate with you all for uh, a very interesting topic. Nowadays, a uh, very, very important topic in our office practice is common behavioral problems. See, when I started 31 years back in my practice, at that time, gastroenteritis, bronchopneumonia, and uh, all illnesses were uh, very important from the pediatrician point of view. But nowadays, everybody accepts that behavioral problems is a very important problem because every mother tells their behavioral problems to the pediatrician. And then a uh, pediatrician many times doesn't know how to answer them. That's why this lecture we have uh, planned is common behavioral problems in office practice. 
So what is to behave? Behave is to conduct oneself and behavior is manner or conduct act. The child's behavior is the end result of a wide variety of factors which are operating before pregnancy, during pregnancy, during delivery and during his, uh, uh, his subsequent environment. So all these factors are very important. Then his behavioral problems are the result of conflict between his developing personality and attitude of his parents, teachers and peers. So normal or abnormal behavior is based on the developmental age of the child, depending on the personality of individual child, parental responses and environmental factors. His behavioral problems are the, actually it is very important to know uh, that these, these uh, normal or abnormal uh, differentiation. Because many times what happens that many uh, people actually label abnormal uh, behavior as normal or normal behavior as abnormal. And uh, then it becomes a problematic. So what is the normal developing behavior which requires no treatment, only counseling or only assurance is required. So, what are uh, those uh, uh, behavioral complaints? At three months old, baby, baby is having hand to mouth coordination and started thumb sucking. So, that is normal. Uh, if you give uh, actually alternatives, then it will definitely go off. High level of negativism, it is characteristic of late infancy. Here, uh, we should know if Harbar Mummy Bolti, Ekyare, Mera Bacha Bhot Jiddi. तो वो उनको मैं एक कहानी सुनाता हूँ क्या कहानी सुनाता हूँ कि एक्चुअली एक दो साल का बच्चा है उसको लेके मम्मी बाजार में जा रही थी और उसने बलून मांगा बलून मांगने के बाद में मम्मी ने बोला नहीं मैं नहीं दूंगी तो वो रोने लगा फिर भी मम्मी ने नहीं बोला फिर वो सर पटकने लगा रोने लगा ज्यादा चिल्लाने लगा तो फिर ऐसे दस पंद्रह मिनट होने के बाद में मम्मी को लोग आ रहे मेरे कोई सहेली देखेगी तो ये तमाशा उसका जाने दो इसको दे दो तो पंद्रह मिनट के बाद भी वो देती है तो इसको समझता है कि अरे ये मैं अगर ऐसे बार बार करूंगा तो मुझे मिलेगा इसलिए वो क्या करेगा कि वो वापस ऐसे जिद्दी ये करेगा टैंट्रम थ्रो करेगा तो इसलिए ऐसे बच्चों के बारे में क्या होना चाहिए कि जो देने जैसी चीज हो करने जैसी चीज हो तुरंत करो नहीं का मतलब उनको नहीं समझने दो और एक ने नहीं बोलने के बाद में घर में सबने नहीं बोलना चाहिए और जब वो टैंट्रम थ्रो करता है तमाशा ज्यादा करता है तो उस वक्त उसकी तरफ बिल्कुल ध्यान नहीं देना है ना ही उसको पॉजिटिव फीडबैक देना है ना ही नेगेटिव फीडबैक देना है और वो 10-15 मिनट में नॉर्मल आ जाता है नॉर्मल पे आने के बाद में उसको नॉर्मल बातें उससे करनी है ये जरूरी है समझना सो so, ईगो uh, का भी uh, कभी कभी प्रॉब्लम आता है कि रिफ्यूजिंग टू ईट अभी ये बहुत मम्मी बोलती है कि अरे हम मैं उसके पीछे दौड़ती हूँ लेकिन वो खाने में मना कर देता है तो ये कॉमन प्रॉब्लम क्यों रहता है क्योंकि उनको ऐसे लगता है कि मैं ये मम्मी मेरे बार हमेशा पीछे लगती है तो इसको खाना ही नहीं है मुझे तो ये बहुत कॉमन प्रॉब्लम है स्टैमरिंग स्टैमरिंग मतलब कैसे कि नाम ऐसे जो बोलने वाले बच्चे रहते हैं तो ये नॉर्मल रहता है चार साल तक उसको कुछ करना नहीं है वो अपने आप उसमें से बाहर आ सकते लेकिन अगर चार साल के बाद में रहता है तो उसके लिए ट्रीटमेंट थेरेपी की देने की स्पीच थेरेपी वगैरह जरूरत पड़ेगी एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ फियर और शाइनेस ये बहुत कॉमन है कि शाइनेस मेरे एक पेशेंट का एक उदाहरण देता हूँ कि एक्चुअली उसमें कैसे कि उसको उसकी मम्मी ने बहुत अच्छी तरह से तैयार किया फैंसी ड्रेस कॉम्पिटिशन के लिए वो तीन साल का था लेकिन उसने बिल्कुल वो स्टेज पर गया ही नहीं तो मैंने उनको बोला देखो उसको फोर्स मत करो कुछ मत उसका टेंशन लो अगले साल से वो अच्छा करेगा तो अगले साल में उसने उसको उन्होंने ट्री बना दिया और फिर उसको वापस स्टेज पे भेजा तो वो फर्स्ट प्राइज उसको मिला उसके बाद में उसने लोअर के से लेकर सेवन स्टैंडर्ड तक फैंसी ड्रेस कॉम्पिटिशन में फर्स्ट प्राइज उसको मिला लेकिन वो तीन साल के उम्र में बिल्कुल वो तैयार नहीं था तो वो शाइनेस अपने आप सुधर जाता है उसके लिए उनको थोड़ा सा मैच्योर होने की जरूरत रहती है ओवर एग्रेशन अगेन कॉमन for two to four years jealousy again common bed wetting before six years again common school going children mein isko treatment ki zarurat nahi hai ki sudden changes in body proportion aate appearance of secondary sexual character hota hai to fir uski wajah se bachcho ko kuch self esteem ka problem aata hai to unko kuch treatment dene ki zarurat nahi hai 
increasing separation from parents and acceptance in the peer group again which is very normal fears of being subnormal isko assurance or counseling se ho jata hai match preparation sexual experimentation interest in pornography ye bhi normal rehta hai abhi mere paas ek bachcha aaya tha wo paanchvi kaksha ka tha usne pehli kaksha ke bachche ka penis handle kiya to usko school ne nikal diya actually uski mummy bol rahi thi ki wo usne fir curiosity ki wajah se kiya tha तो लेकिन ये सबसे जरूरी था कि वो बच्चे को समझना तो हमने वो बच्चे को समझ लिया और उसको मम्मी को बोला ये अभी सब्जेक्ट बंद कर दो ये स्कूल नहीं तो दूसरा स्कूल वो अच्छा करेगा एंड रियली ही उसने बहुत अच्छा किया एंड उसके मम्मी ने कम से कम मेरे पास मोर देन हंड्रेड पेशेंट भेजे होंगे जो कि उसको लेबल नहीं लगाया हमने वो बहुत जरूरी था लाइंग एंड स्टीलिंग बहुत कॉमन है कि अभी एक बच्चा था वो अच्छे घर आने का था लेकिन वो हर जगह पे जाके उसकी वो कार चुराता था तो उसको बोलने के बाद में वो बोला कि मुझे कार का म्यूजियम बनाना है तो मुझे ये ब्रांड की ये कार की ये कलर नहीं है मेरे पास इसलिए मैंने उससे लाया तो दैट दैट वाज इन हिज माइंड तो उसको काउंसलिंग करने के बाद में बहुत अच्छा फर्क हो गया कभी कभी कुछ फोबियाज रहते जिसके काउंसिलिंग से फर्क हो जाता है सो पेरेंट्स बेसिकली डू नॉट पे अटेंशन टू द नीड्स ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन एंड अनलेस चाइल्ड शोज बिहेवियर चेंजेस दे Uh, will not attend their uh, child and negative behavior gets reinforcement and such behavior becomes a habit so pediatrician has to learn to identify early try to break this vicious cycle that is very important then common behavior problem opd mein kon kon se rehte breath holding spell hai thumb sucking hai school phobia hai anxiety hai hyperactivity hai media addiction hai kafi uh, sare wo hum abhi dekhne wale hai तो पहले ब्रेथ होल्डिंग स्पेल देखेंगे तो इसमें दो प्रकार रहते हैं कि साइनोटिक स्पेल रहता है और पैलिस स्पेल रहता है तो इट इज प्रोवोक बाय अपसेटिंग सिचुएशन इन एंगर और इन फ्रस्ट्रेशन इसमें फीचर्स क्या क्या रहते हैं कि क्राइसिस बेबी क्राइज स्क्रीम्स लाउडली एंड देन क्राइ ग्रेजुअली बिकम्स नॉइजलेस एज द चाइल्ड ओपन्स द माउथ एंड होल्ड्स द ब्रेथ इन एक्सपीरेशन फॉर अबाउट ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी सेकेंड सो रोने के बाद में वो सांस रोकता है दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट so crying prior to sp uh, spell turns pale and often loses consciousness is called as pallid spell so here baby turns pale differential diagnosis kya hai ki uh, seizure disorder rehte syncope rehta hai uh, prolonged qt syndrome rehta hai so actually yahan pe ek important baat aisi hai ki intellectual age normal rehta hai usually investigations are not necessary aur cyanotic spell mein kya rehta hai child turns blue then child may again start breathing or may proceed to lose consciousness so regains full activity within 2 minutes so during spell attempt to control environment make him lie down flat or floor to prevent head injury should not hold the child upright nothing should be put in the child's mouth as it should uh, at, it, it can cause uh, choking or vomiting so then prevention of breath holding spell attempt to control environment try to distract and intervene before they becomes blue so usko wo jo jo cheez chahiye wo nahi agar de sakte to dusri jagah pe uska dhyan bhatana chahiye to usse usko fayda hota hai uniformity of decision in parenting firmness which is very important because ek ne nahi bolne ke baad mein dusre ne nahi bolna chahiye aur divert attention or leave him alone so ye important baat hai so parental counseling mein kya rehta hai ki breath holding spell wale parents bahut baar उनको डर रहता है कि मेरा बच्चा ने अगर ब्रेथ होल्ड किया और सांस लिया ही नहीं तो वो मर जाएगा इसलिए उनको टेंशन रहता है सो एक्चुअली वी हैव टू री एश्योर्ड देम दैट ब्रीथ ब्रेथ होल्डिंग स्पेल आर नॉट डेंजरस दे डू नॉट लीड टू एनी ब्रेन डैमेज एपिलेप्सी और एनी डेथ सो अटैक्स आर इनवॉलेंट्री इन नेचर एंड कॉशन अगेंस्ट रनिंग एंड पिकिंग अप द चाइल्ड एवरी टाइम ही क्राइज टू डिक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ द अटैक सो सपोर्टिव मैनेजमेंट लॉन्ग टर्म प्रोग्नोसिस इज ऑलवेज वेरी गुड Behavior modification uh, program can be done or can be given to the parents. Most of the episodes <coughs> they resolve by child becomes four to five years old. And pharmacological treatment is iron and zinc for uh, three months. So anticonvulsant has no role. That is very important. So anticonvulsant should not be given to breath holding spell uh, children. Thank. Okay. then we will see enuresis enuresis is a repeated involuntary passage of urine during the sleep after the age of 5 years repeated means twice a week 
or three consecutive uh, times in the month. It is more common in boys, but physical examination is normal. Urine analysis and culture is normal. So it can be genetic, maturational delay, sleep disorder, which is very common as sleep disorder and psychological issues or small bladder. So when, uh, when to take the child to doctor, developmental age of more than seven years uh, and still waiting the bed or child once dry at night and then started waiting the bed again, bed waiting upset the uh, child as well as parent and wet the pants during the day. So management actually nowadays uh, anorexis uh, is called as sleep disorder. It has no relation with spicy food or worm. Removal of any organic cause is that it is there. Minimization of emotional impact, no humiliation or no punishment, motivational therapy, positive reinforcement, star calendar. Actually, usko aise bolna hai ki jab aap, uh, bed gila karte ho, tab wo date ko aapko round karna hai red color ka. Aur jab nahi karte ho, to aapko round karna hai blue color ka. To kaun sa achha hai? To blue achha hai. To wo blue ke aapko kitne milte, red kitne milte, ye dekhne wale. So, अगर ज्यादा मिलते हैं तो उसके उस उसमें ब्लू जब आएंगे तो उसको पॉजिटिव रिएइंफोर्समेंट देना बहुत जरूरी है रेस्ट्रिक्टेड फ्लूइड ये अभी नहीं बोलते कभी उसको एक्चुअली सिर्फ ऐसे ही करना है कि जस्ट यू हैव टू डू थ्री थिंग्स कि सोते समय तीन बार उसने यूरिन करके सोना है मतलब एक बार टॉयलेट में जाके आना है फिर वापस 1 to 50 काउंट करना है वापस टॉयलेट में जाना है वापस रूम पे आके 1 to 50 काउंट करके वापस टॉयलेट में जाना है सो so, तीन बार करने के बाद में सोने का उसके बाद में एक्चुअली उसको एक घंटे के बाद में सॉरी 90 मिनट डेढ़ घंटे के बाद में उसको अलार्म लगा के उठा उठकर उसने वापस यूरिन करनी है तो so, इससे क्या फायदा होगा कि ब्लैडर टोटल एम्प्टी रहेगा और अगर मॉर्निंग में फिर भी उसको प्रॉब्लम आ रहा है तो उसको काउंसलिंग है फिर बे, बेल एंड पैड अलार्म से जिसमें फर्स्ट ड्रॉप ऑफ यूरिन के बाद में उसको आ, पूरा अलार्म बज जाता है तो फिर बाकी बची हुई यूरिन वो बाथरूम में जाके करता है तो बेड बेल एंड पैड अलार्म्स आर वेरी गुड बिकॉज रिवर्सल रेट इज वेरी लेस ड्रग्स एज लास्ट एफर्ट बिकॉज इमिप्रामिन और डेस्मोप्रेसिन ये जो ड्रग्स है उसकी वजह से क्या होता है जब तक ड्रग चालू है तब तक वो कम हो जाता है वापस वो आ, rebound ho jata hai so that is very important and punishment nahi dena hai kyunki is isme unki galti nahi hai ye baat unko samajhna zaruri hai parents ko inko paresis ye again ek fecal soiling rehta hai ki jisme ye common boys mein rehta hai ek kis wajah se hota hai to constipation chronic agar rahega then odd jaise ki conduct disorder hai to usme ye problem aa sakta hai fear of commode hai uh, deliberate withholding of stool hai, symptoms of uh, sexual abuse hai. So, ye jo encoparesis hai, uske sab criteria, DSM-5 criteria humne diye hai. Lekin isme important kya hai ki constipation with overflow incontinence hota hai or without constipation and overflow incontinence hota hai. Ye do types rai te usme. Ye management karte samay isko cleaning out karna hai, stool softener use karna hai, scheduled sitting time dena hai, uh, typically after meal. क्योंकि आफ्टर मील 10 मिनट इंटरटेन की हलचल ज्यादा रहती है डायपर्स यूज करना पड़ेगा कभी बिहेवियरल मैनेजमेंट जिसमें सिंपल रिवार्ड डेली कैलेंडर नो पनिशमेंट एंड इन डिफिकल्ट केसेस रेफर टू चाइल्ड साइकोलॉजिस्ट और चाइल्ड साइकेट्री तो एक्चुअली यहां पे एक इंपॉर्टेंट बात समझना जरूरी है कि रिडक्शन इन इनटेक ऑफ कॉन्स्टिपेटिंग फूड सच एज डेयरी फूड और पीनट्स और कुक कैरेट एंड बनाना ये actually important hai. increase in high fiber diet such as bran or whole wheat or popcorn or fruits or vegetables and higher intake of liquid and juices so is ki wajah se usko fayda hoga aur madad milegi fir uske baad mein hum dekhenge thumb sucking thumb sucking is a oral habit disorder it may involve other fingers slightly more in the girls normal below 4 years of age may lead to dental or digital problem uh, yahan pe motivation is the key Distraction is also effective and dental care may be required in chronic cases. An application of bitter or bandaging is not effective. Both bar parents ko wohi lagta hai ki mai usko bandage laga hoon ya usko kuch uh, uh, tikha cheez laga hoon to usse kuch fayda hota nahi hai. So actually nail biting may be preschool uh, pre to adolescent age group mein jada common rehta hai. Uh, iske etiology, face, 
इमिटेशन हेरिडिटी और ट्रांसपेरेंस ऑफ थम सकिंग हैबिट रहता है कॉम्प्लिकेशन उसमें ओरल हर्पीज विटलो और पैरोनाइकिया रहता है मैनेजमेंट में पेरेंटल अफेक्शन सिंपथी पॉजिटिव एंड निगेटिव री एनफोर्समेंट बिटर एंड बैंडेजिंग आर नॉट इफेक्टिव अगेन इन दिस केस ऑल्सो लाइक थम सकिंग तो पाइका और एक हैबिट डिसऑर्डर है जिसमें कंपल्सिव इटिंग ऑफ नॉन फूड सब्सटेंस की मट्टी खाता है बहुत कॉमन प्रॉब्लम रहता है और आफ्टर टू इयर्स इट नीड्स इन्वेस्टिगेशन तो प्रीडिस्पोजिंग फैक्टर्स क्या रहते हैं लैक ऑफ पेरेंटल नर्चरिंग फैमिली डिसऑर्गेनाइजेशन मेंटल रिटार्डेशन ऑटिज्म माल न्यूट्रिशन और सिकल सेल डिसीज तो इसमें ये बहुत कॉमन दिखता है यहाँ पे ट्रीनिंग क्या करना है पड़ता है कि आयन डेफिशियंसी एनीमिया है क्या वर्म इन्फेस्टेशन है क्या लेड पॉइजनिंग है क्या और फिर ट्रीटमेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट दी जाती है जैसे प्रीडिस्पोजिंग फैक्टर कौन से है फिर आयन डेफिशियंसी एनीमिया होगी तो थेरापेटिक दोस्त में आयन दिया जाता है और अंडरलाइन साइकेट्रिक डिसऑर्डर हो तो वो ट्रीटमेंट दिया जाता है देन टिक्स में क्या रहता है कि इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी मूव्स रिपीटेडली क्विकली सडनली एंड अनकंट्रोलेबली सो दिस अपियर ड्यूरिंग द स्लीप कि कभी स्लीप में नहीं आते तो सप्रेसिवली बाय चाइल्ड फॉर शॉर्ट पीरियड इट्स मेड कॉन्शियस नेवर एसोसिएटेड विद द इनएबिलिटी टू इंटरेक्ट मतलब ऐसे नहीं होता है कि उसको जगाया तो तुरंत बंद जब हो जाते वापस शुरू हो जाते तो लिप स्मैकिंग टंग थ्रस्टिंग आई ब्लिंकिंग थ्रोट क्लियरिंग तो सच टाइप ऑफ टिक्स आर देयर विच आर वेरी कॉमन कॉमन टिक डिसऑर्डर में टूरेट डिसऑर्डर रहती है इसमें पनिशमेंट विल नॉट हेल्प मेडिकेशन मे बी रिक्वायर्ड इन रेजिस्टेंट केसेस रेयरली रेफर टू साइकेट्रिस्ट इमोशनल सपोर्ट एंड अप्रोप्रिएट एजुकेशन एनवायरमेंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द टिक्स देन ब्रक्सिजम और टीथ ग्राइंडिंग हियर अगेन is very important day time does not produce audible noise but night time audible noise is there brief and lasting 8 to 9 seconds and child is unaware that he is doing bruxism so complications can be temporomandibular joint dysfunction and headache but it uh, begins at uh, around 5 years and peaks at 7 to 10 years here management while managing bruxism parents actually read relaxing stories at the bedtime parents review fears anxiety daily and they give emotional support to the child electronic media related behavioral disorder here very important is that uh, children wants to imitate star uh, then they demand uh, they become demanding children they want everything that is shown in the advertisement sleep disturbances and violence is again very common so what is important is that how many hours to which media under what condition and what are the content of the program selection criteria and supervision by the adults are very very important factor in media history other leisure time activities ki baki samay mein wo kya karta hai inference discussion aap karte ho ki nahi nutritional history kya hai matlab wo uh, tv ke samne baith kar khata hoga to that is very bad thing supervision by parents agar hoga to kuch problem nahi hoga matlab iska media ka upyog aap third parent karte hai ya usko actually सर्वेंट uh, कैसे करते हैं मतलब जैसे कि uh, कोई uh, हीरो आता है वो मारता है तो उसको लगता है अरे ये कितना अच्छा है उसने गॉगल पहना है चाकू पहना ले, ले लिया तो अगर उसकी मम्मी उसके साथ में होगी और वो बोलेगी अगर ऐसे तू करेगा तो फिर तो तेरी पूरी जिंदगी जेल में कटेगी तो वो कभी ऐसे नहीं करेगा क्योंकि तो उसको मालूम है कि इसका कॉन्सिक्वेंस क्या है तो वो कॉन्सिक्वेंस बताना भी जरूरी है और सुपरविजन ऑफ द पेरेंट्स एंड कंटेंट ऑफ द प्रोग्राम has very important role in media so actually recommendation kya hai screen time ke liye infant less than 18 months no media age 2 years to 5 years limit screen use to only 1 hour per day that too high quality uh, program then children more than 6 years place consistent limit actually uh, of, of, of spending against uh, media then media free time dinner time driving time that type uh, that type of time uh, bathroom time so that time uh, media free time should be there so have ongoing communication but online actually here citizenship and safety that is very important and uh, very most important is that uh, for 2 to 4 years 
not more than one hour of the uh, screen time is recommended. So that is very important. So actually, uh, this screen time affects the child by uh, affecting their attention, language, sleep, obesity. So this is very important. And then there is internet addiction also. We are not going to go into the details because today we have less time for that. But uh, internet addiction actually is a big topic uh, in itself. And cyber stalking again is very important that use of internet or electronic media to harass individual. Uh, that is again very important. But oh, important is that we can diagnose this with standardized psychological tests like achievement testing, projective testing or child behavior checklist or corner stretching scale, then uh, internet addiction test or uh, chain internet addiction scale, compulsive internet use scale. So such type of uh, scales are there. And then we can manage them with encouraging their hobbies, team sports, after school club, restrict the use of computer or uh, tablet, keep an eye on child's online activity and limiting time which is online. So that is very important. So uh, key areas are uh, actually reducing the stress, anxiety issues and depression and managing the substance abuse or addiction. Major life changes, if they are there, then you should consider them in the counseling. So here, building coping skill, strengthening existing support system is very important. And in case of ODD or oppositional defined disorder, make they, they, these children actually they make unreasonable demands. They take advantage of the situation. They are stubborn. They are manipulative. Cannot accept no. They cannot delay gratification. And they throw temper tantrum. Actually, a US may study was a dismay as a tweet rakhata or unko bachonko a kicker ke under throw the actually closer to camera bita or un wo timer house ke saath. तो उसमें वो देखते थे कि अगर इनको बोला है कि नहीं खाना है तो वो कब खाते हैं तो कोई कोई बच्चे ऐसे देखते थे अरे क्या है खाना नहीं है कैसे नहीं खाऊं मैं दो मिनट के बाद में वो खाते थे कोई 30 सेकंड्स में खाते थे कोई आने के बाद में तुरंत खाते हैं तो ये उन्होंने ऐसे स्टडी किया कि ये जो बच्चे थे उनका वो टाइमिंग देख के फिर आफ्टर 30 इयर्स दे अगेन स्टडीड देयर पैटर्न तो उसमें ऐसे समझ में आया कि जो बच्चे उन्होंने लेट खाया तो वो ज्यादा सक्सेसफुल है जिन्होंने तुरंत खाया या मिडिल था तो वो भी उनको सक्सेस इतना नहीं मिला जितना जिन्होंने वेट करके खाया सो दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो ग्रेटिफिकेशन डिले करना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट बात है सो थ्रो स्टैंपर टेंट्रम अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज द फर्मनेस एंड कंसिस्टेंसी सो रीजनेबल डिमांड शुड बी फुलफिल्ड व्हिच आई हैव टोल्ड नाउ प्रीवियसली and violent child should be uh, restrained restrain physically. So actually anxiety uh, is mood state, which is characterized by strong negative emotion and bodily symptoms in which an individual apprehensively anticipates future danger or misfortune. And fear, fear is immediate alarm reaction to the current danger. So what is anxiety disorder? Excessive and debilitative anxiety, which negative emotion and fear. Prevalence is around 5%, which is again very important. So it can be uh, specific phobias or it can be separation anxiety, generalized anxiety or post-traumatic stress disorder. So there are variety of anxiety disorder and variety of stages at the uh, various stages at the various age, like infancy, uh, louder noise or being startled. Uh, in toddler age group, they, uh, they, they, are, they are having fear of dark or separation. In school age, they have injury or natural disaster. So all these are definitely uh, stages of anxiety according to the age of uh, that child. So uh, they can present that sense of fear or loss of control, stress of life uh, situation, fight, fight to flight. So all these uh, type of these things are, are, are there. And uh, the children may have dilated pupil or increased muscle activity. So uh, there are red flag signs and diagnostic interview which can be observed with the behavioral observation as well as rating scale such as uh, scale which is again very important scale screen for child anxiety related emotional disorder. Here scale for parents is also available and that is available online. 
and it gives very good diagnosis. So scared you can use online for diagnosing anxiety. Then elective mutism. यहाँ पे बच्चे क्या करते हैं कि घर में बात करते हैं लेकिन बाहर नहीं बात करते. So they doesn't speak in the class. They are good at written work. Speaks well only at home with the parents. Individual behavioral therapy, family therapy, psychotherapy, and anti-anxiety medication definitely helps in elective mutism. I have given uh, long-term medication also for elective mutism, which definitely helps. Then, uh, social, uh, actually, uh, social anxiety disorder, which is again very uh, common uh, problem, and uh, for that again you have to give treatment, which can be either in the form of exposure therapy, pharmacological therapy. Uh, or beta blockers can be given. Uh, treatment of anxiety disorder, actually here psychoeducation, relaxation technique, exposure, then uh, contingency uh, management, parent training, cognitive restructuring. So all these are very important uh, anxiety disorder uh, treatment. And uh, so treatment is according to the problem which is there uh, or severity of anxiety, how it is there. So it can be behavioral therapy, where talk therapy, play therapy, counseling, or school-based counseling, then modeling, uh, then relaxation exercises, uh, exposure therapy. So all these are uh, given uh, in case of anxiety disorder. So it can be classified according to DSM-5 diagnosis. And then according to that, medication uh, should be given. Medication is required in uh, moderate to severe cases. Uh, either in uh, like the uh, patient is having general anxiety disorder, then uh, primary treatment is CBT or uh, 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 medication which can be given is SSRI or benzodiazepine. So that that type of uh, treatment can be given. So there is according to that either it can be panic disorder or depression anxiety, selective mutism, social phobia. So according to that, what is the primary treatment is the counseling like CBT or family therapy. And then medication, uh, primary or secondary, can be given according to this chart. So, what all, all parent can do, do for the anxiety problem? Be patient, calm and reassuring, be positive, take small steps, reward and praise, be a model and gradual exposure, and teach the child positive self talk. So, what all can parents do is they can actually teach the child basic relaxation techniques. Teach the child to visualize or imagine a pleasant, relaxing, happy places. Then keep stress low at the home. Be calm and positive. Deal with external situations that require adult intervention, such as bullying, healthy living, and take time for fun and relax with their own children, which is again very important. So how to prevent anxiety disorder? Make the home environment as calm and consistent. Establish a regular routine. Eat meals together enough sleep, balanced meals, one-to-one -one time, and have fun and enjoyable activities also frequently. Limit video games, computer or uh, mobile. So actually, uh, here very important is that seven to nine years old children, they should be prevented from the cell phone and Facebook. So relationship matters because relationship protects. So give Many more positive uh, commit, uh, comment, uh, comments than negative ones. Uh, one to one time, have fun, laugh, do something uh, you both can enjoy. Positive active responses wherever possible. Listen more than you speak. Assert yourself calmly. Connection before correction. Emotional banking. Stick to your values, but consider all points of view. Then phobias again can be managed, uh, like uh, you have to uh, see the causes in the problem in the school or in the home or the child. And according to that, you have to manage with the counseling, reassurance and school should be continued. That is very important. Otherwise, if for school phobia, you discontinue the school, then the problem worsens. Then depression, this is last uh, one. Uh, we are going to see that uh, how we can diagnose depression. According to DSM-5 criteria, we have make a mnemonic misworld with depression crime. So, uh, mood, interest, sleep, weight, worthlessness and guilt, death wish or act, energy, then psychomotor activity and concentration. So, out of this nine, five are present for more than two weeks. 
then we can call it as a depression. So here, indication of drug is very important that in case of severe symptoms, bipolar depression, psychotic symptoms, uh, or uh, those who required ECT. So the such type of children, we have to start with the medicine and we have to give the medicine. So what are the five essential drugs uh, by Dr. M.K. Sinair uh, for this uh, uh, disorders? Like Respiridon for the uh, organic brain disorder, psychosis, autism, tick or mania, Valparet for conduct disorder, fluoxetine for depression, fluoxetine again for anxiety disorder, atomoxetine for ADHD, imipramine for aneurysis, and the dose and dosing, uh, dose, uh, dosing per day uh, has been given in the chart. So that is again very important. So behavioral problems, what are the facts and acts? So some such thing like common presentation, what are the facts, what are the acts, what are the medicine? So all this has been given in this one, only one slide. So uh, actually very important that we should identify these uh, problems and then manage with the counseling and medicine which is required. And medicine, how, how many days uh, it can be continued, how long, what are the side effects, that everything you should know before starting medicine. Thank you very much for uh, giving me this opportunity and patient uh, listening. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much, sir, for answering all the, uh, for uh, putting us such wonderful inputs upon the topic that you have shared. We have received few questions and with all your due permission, I would like to put it across to you. Yes, definitely. Uh, the first question is, at what point should parents start take action about their children's behavioral disorders? Yes, this is very interesting question. Actually, actually very important is that uh, whenever you know that this uh, suppose thumb sucking, Thumb sucking is normal at six months. But if it is persistent after one year, you should take action. So uh, what is normal and what is abnormal behavior and what age, what behavior is normal and what behavior is abnormal, that we have to identify first. And then according to that, we, you have to actually act uh, for that. Suppose nocturnal aneurysm. Before two or three years, you should not start treatment. M maybe parents' uh, concern is there so after four years, maybe you can start with the treatment. But uh, it is very important to know that uh, what is normal and what is abnormal at what age. That is also very important. Thank you so much sir, for answering this question. We'll move to the next question. And the question is, what are the risk factors in children's behavioral disorders and how can we be diagnosed? Yeah. So uh, what are the risk factors? Uh, the most important risk factors, it can be uh, factors in the child, maybe child uh, having uh, the child is stubborn or child is having some uh, behavioral problem or mental retardation or autism or whatever the problem it can be the problem in the child. Problem in the environment like problem in the school or problem in the house. So maybe aggressive parents or maybe uh, home environment is not uh, conducive for their growth. Uh, in the school, maybe teacher uh, not giving proper, uh, actually, uh, whatever the uh, encouragement to the child or uh, maybe parents, uh, actually, uh, teacher is discouraging the child. This, this also we have seen in many cases. So such type of uh, uh, basically genetic, then uh, home environment, school environment and uh, for problems in that child particular. So according to that, you have to assess them and then manage whatever, whatever the cause is there. Thank you so much sir, for answering the question. Uh, we don't have any other questions as of now. So that's the last question for today's session. And at the outset, I would like to thank all the viewers who were here with us and for their patient hearing. And would like to thank you as well, sir, for taking out your valuable time and for being here at our platform and sharing such wonderful inputs with all our viewers who were here present. Thank you. So with all your last comments, sir, we can conclude the session here for today. I, I just want to comment that uh, pediatrician, now it's a time to start uh, actually reading about what are the behavioral problems and what how to do, we manage it. Important thing is that you just have to uh, diagnose them at earliest because uh, initially we were uh, thinking that depression is seen only in adults or 
uh, in uh, adolescence age group, late, late adolescence. But now we have diagnosed even at five years of age uh, depression and we have, to we have treat them. So we, uh, if we are aware about that, we will definitely diagnose it. And the tests are very simple. Big depression inventory as well as uh, the inventories which are shown in uh, uh, anxiety disorder, they are all available uh, online. They are free of cost. So you can download them and give to the parents as well as child and then diagnose that uh, properly and start your treatment. That's all I want to uh, conclude. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for such a valuable feedback. Thank you. With this, we are concluding the session here for today. Yes, thank you very much.